Hi everyone, it's Connor. In this video, I wanted to do a deep dive on the combination between polar blue parrots and angelfish. Go through my experience and experiences I've read online, both good and bad. The newer hybrid polar blue parrot cichlids have been becoming more and more popular. One of the common misconceptions is that they are as peaceful as blood parrots. However, there are many stories of them being overly aggressive. One combination that I've personally had success with, but also heard horror stories, is mixing blue parrots with angelfish. Now, before we go into the actual combination, I want to talk a little bit about the origins of polar blue parrots. Now, the information you can find online is very limited. Um, there are some reports that they were probably initially bred in the early 2000s. They're most commonly thought to be a mix between male convicts and female blood parrots, or convicts and jelly bean convicts. Now it might be a mix of all three, um, it's really hard to know for sure, but either way they probably definitely have a convict in them as you can see from the coloring and if you just compare picture by picture they look very similar other than polar blue parrots have very much the uh, typical parrot-like shape and uh, mouth and body shape. Now with that, one thing convicts are known for is being one of the more aggressive cichlids and because of that um, it's not surprising that there are many reports of polar blue parrots being pretty aggressive. Now before we go any further, I want to either welcome you back to my channel or welcome you if it's your first time. I do have some other videos on polar parrots if you're curious to learn more about them. And if you want to get updates on this, these fish or any of my fish in general, uh, be sure to subscribe and I appreciate it very much. Now I wanted to first talk on my story of my polar blue parrots. So I have two. Um, pretty much confirmed they're both males. Now when I first got them, I got them, they were very small, they were less than an inch, probably three quarters of an inch, very, very tiny. Both of them just were together in the tank, the local fish store. I had thought about them previously. Um, I was a bit hesitant because the information you could find online was very limited, but I was also kind of curious to try them um, for that reason as well. Now at the time of putting them in this tank, I had three angelfish. I had a full grown, um, adult angelfish and two small angelfish, the two that are in here right now. Uh, now, the um, Pinoy angelfish was probably about the size of this ghost angelfish, and the ghost angelfish was probably about half his size that he is right now. So they were pretty small, but the polar parrots were very, very small. They were still less than an inch at this point. Now, when I did put them in there, the polar parrots really didn't bother anybody except for the angelfish. They would chase the angelfish um, very regularly. Basically, if the angelfish got close to them, they would chase them away. The polar parrots would just chase them, the angelfish would swim away quickly, um, and then they wouldn't um, chase after them again. So it didn't appear they were initially trying to hurt them, but they were territorial and showing pretty aggressive behavior towards them. And it was very often that they were chasing them. It was hard to take um, footage back then without seeing the polar parrots, one of them, chase an angelfish. But now as the polar parrots get older and older and start to grow up, the aggression slowly started to subside more and more. And then I did actually rehome the larger angelfish unrelated to the polar parrots. And at that point, the polar parrots are really starting to get into adulthood, really just starting to get into the full size and the aggression really started to die down. And, you know, weeks would go by and it would just be less and less and less until now they are completely peaceful with angelfish. I rarely ever see them chase them. You know, um, maybe it might be if like one gets way too close to them, but even then really nothing. Um, you'll see clips here of them just getting along very peacefully now and really no problems uh, at all that I've seen. Now the question becomes, did I do something successful to keep this combination or was it just luck with the polar parrots and angelfish that I'm currently keeping? Now I did want to touch on the experiences of other people with polar parrots and especially um, a lot of the comments I've seen on my other two polar parrot videos. Um, one is about the growth of my polar parrots and the other is a general care guide and my experience. I'll link to those in the description if you want to check them out. But I got a lot of comments both talking about this combination and asking about this combination. And there definitely were horror stories of people saying they woke up with their angelfish, um, passed away, you know, a morning after having them for a while and they saw their polar parrots absolutely pick on the angelfish and then reading on different um, online forums. I saw the same stories, but not all of them. A lot of people did keep them successful too. So it's a lot of uh, mixed all over the place. And 
that kind of prompted me, especially with all the questions I got about this combination, to make this video and talk more about it. But after reading all these stories, um, reading all this information, and then my experience, my overall thought is if you're going to do this combination, definitely use caution. Um, if anything, I probably would avoid this combination. If I were, if I knew what I knew now and saw what I saw, I probably would avoid this combination. Um, now mine are complete, or get along completely well now, which is great, but I think it's not really worth the risk. Um, but if you are going to try this and you do really want to try it, um, I would just keep an eye on it um, very often, especially early on to see, um, are the parrots just chasing them away or are they, uh, are they completely peaceful? That could be an option too. Or are they chasing them and then kind of bullying them? Like if they chase them, the angelfish get away and they keep chasing them and are trying to pick on them. You see angelfish with nipped fins, you know, that's a sign where you're going to have to rehome or move uh, one of the species out of the tank. Next thing is, um, and I haven't had this with either, uh, with the pull of parrots, I'm like 90% sure I have two males. I'm not sure about the angelfish yet because they're still young, but as you know, in cichlids with pair up, they get very aggressive. And this is both of the thing known about angelfish and known about polar parrot cichlids too. So I would keep in mind if you do end up getting a pair and they do end up mating and showing behavior, um, this might also be a time where you want to move one of the species out of the tank um, because they might definitely show aggression towards the other, especially when they're being cichlids and one might stand, try to stand up to the other. Um, it could get ugly real quick. And the last thing I've observed is polar parrots definitely show dominance over angelfish. I've actually found they're very tough fish. I've actually seen my polar parrots stand up to my blood parrots. And despite that being a small size, um, they're very quick and they're very tough. So uh, if they do fight and one of the species is gonna win, it's gonna be the polar parrots. Now, it is kind of a gamble on what type of polar parrots you get, if they're gonna be aggressive or peaceful or somewhere in the middle. But if you do insist on keeping this combination, um, a few tips are, I would say, and this is pretty much for mixing any type of uh, cichlid or any um, different types of species in a community aquarium, is get them young. Uh, I think one thing that helped is I got my polar parrots very young and they were aggressive at first, but once they grew up, they were more comfortable with angelfish and now they're okay with them. Um, the angelfish I keep in here too uh, were young as well, uh, so they kind of grew up with them and moving, removing the um, larger angelfish, I'm not sure if that helped, but um, the aggression was already um, starting to be reduced at that point, but once he was gone, um, I think it even accelerated it. So uh, one tip is buy your angelfish and polar parrots young, and maybe even put them together um, very early just so they get um, used to each other. Now, as I said before, I wouldn't recommend keeping pairs that are mating together of any of the species. There's gonna be way more aggression and way more chance that things could go wrong and your angelfish could end up getting injured. Parrots love hiding spaces, so especially caves. So um, definitely want to have a few caves enough for all of them. So having a lot of caves and hiding spaces will definitely help help them feel safer. And they'll probably mostly try to defend uh, they'll mostly try to defend those places, and not just be chasing the angelfish all around the tank. They'll just be chasing the angelfish if they get near the cave. Now, if you're going to try this for tank size, I'd say if you're going to have two angelfish and two polar parrots. 55 gallon is the absolute minimum. I think you really want that four foot tank distance so the angelfish have room to have their own area and the polar parrots have room to get their own area. And the last thing is just to pay attention to the fish, especially when you first put them in that first month, uh, first few weeks, uh, see um, if there is any aggression. And if there is, are the parrots just chasing them away from an area or are they chasing them and continuing to chase them and bullying them? And if there's nip fins and such, then you know that's a sign that you should probably uh, move them away. So just keep an eye on them um, and that's probably the best thing along with the other tips to be successful with this combination. Anyway, that wraps up my experience keeping these two species and my tips for keeping them together if you wish. I'm definitely curious, like I've heard a lot on my other videos, other people's experience with this combination or polar parrots in general considering they're such a new hybrid species. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so others can find it more easily. And please subscribe so you can follow my fishkeeping journey and support the channel. Anyways, I'll catch everyone in the next video.